and welcome back to another video from my YouTube channel Benidorm and Beyond. Today I am taking you to the area in Benidorm known as Foyetes, which is the area situated inland from the Old Town. It covers a huge area and includes the Theodad Deportiva Municipal Guillermo Amor, which translates as a municipal sports city. However, this area is not only used for sport, but for many other things too, as you will hear. Here at the entrance is the car park, and I do think that considering the amount of sports and events carried out here, the car park looks relatively small. However, there is an overflow parking area just across the road, which is much more extensive. As you can see here, the Pabellon Raul Mesa or Raul Mesa Pavilion. This space is used for training as well as hosting many of the indoor sports events for local teams, such as basketball, volleyball, etc., and attracts sponsorship from businesses in the town and neighbourhood, as you can see on the wall. Here we see the home to Benidorm's football team, Atletico Benidorm CF. It was formerly called simply Benidorm CF and was founded in 1968 but was then dissolved in 2011 following bankruptcy and the economic crisis. After several attempts at re-establishing itself in various guises, it finally reappeared in 2020 with the amalgamation of local clubs and now calls itself Atletico Benidorm Club de Football. The football stadium itself was formerly known as the Estadio Foyetes, but changed its name to the Estadio Municipal de Guillermo Amor in 2010. The name change was to celebrate footballer Guillermo Amor, who was a former Barcelona footballer and one of the resort's most famous sportsmen, having been born in Benidorm. He won 37 caps for Spain and is still responsible for Barcelona's youth team setup. Interestingly, he finished his career playing for Livingston in Scotland, but only actually participated in three matches. The stadium has a capacity of 9,000, over two banks of terracing, one large and one smaller on either side of the pitch. The more commonly used main stand, which is the larger one, hosts the club's facilities. Adjacent to the football stadium, which has real grass, is another football pitch with artificial grass. The area also boasts an eight-lane Olympic-sized swimming pool and a total of four tennis courts. It also has long and short fronton courts. And for those of you like me who have never heard of fronton, it is apparently a kind of handball game played against a wall. The Sports City also has an eight-lane athletics running track, along with two pits for the long jump and one for the high jump. It also has facilities for other track and field throwing events, such as the javelin, discus and the hammer. Away from athletics, you also find four volleyball courts, five-a-side football pitches and a climbing wall. Just down from the main sports zone, you will find the Patanca pitches. Patanca is a Spanish ball game similar to the French game of boule and is hugely popular in the country as it can be practiced on any small amount of outside space or even wasteland. Many competitions are held in Spain throughout the year and competition is generally fierce. Leaving the sports area as you turn left is the large car parking area that holds the weekly Foyetes outdoor market. This is a hugely popular market with the local community and sells all manner of different flowers, fruit and vegetables on the top tier of the market, whilst further down the stalls offer clothing, bric-a-brac, handbags and household items. It is held every Wednesday morning from 8am until 2pm, except if the Wednesday is a local holiday, in which case it is usually held on the Tuesday instead. It is full of bargains and well worth a visit. Also in the Foyetes vicinity is the Health Specialist Centre found along Avenida Venezuela. If you pay your local GP a visit in Benidorm and your problem is serious enough that they think you may need an extra or more specialised diagnosis, then you will be referred to this building, simply known locally as Foyetes. 
From here, they then decide if you can be treated by them over regular visits or need to be sent straight to hospital in nearby Villa Hyosa. The centre offers many specialists for all sorts of ailments along with a rehabilitation gym and x-ray rooms. As you carry on down towards the outskirts of the old town, you arrive at the Parc de Foyettes. This previously wasted space has been made very attractive and is a nicely landscaped oasis amongst the rest of the urban sprawl. There are several children's play areas too, including slides, climbing frames, swings and ropes, and they've even left a small wooded area for when they need a bit of shade. The Guillermo Amor Stadium I mentioned earlier has also held many concerts in the past attracting big international names to the town. In 2002, Elton John played the venue, followed by the Rolling Stones in 2003 and Bruce Springsteen in 2009. More recent musical offerings have included French DJ David Guetta and Latin singing legend Mark Anthony. The yearly indie rock festival called Low, which is spread over three days and nights, is also held here and attracts many thousands of young people to the town. As you can see on the video, it's not too busy at the moment because of the intense heat we're experiencing, and of course most people would rather be down the beach or in the sea in the summer months. We are now at the bottom of the park and ahead you can see some of the hotels that lie just off the main vein of the old town, Avenida Jaime Primero. These hotels include the Fiesta Park, the Rambler and Hotel Carlos I, which are all situated upon Avenida Foyetes. The council have installed exercise equipment for those who like to do their gym style workouts outdoors and there are lots of benches dotted about to rest on in between, interspersed with avenues of trees and troughs of flowers. For those of you who have only just found my channel Benidorm and Beyond, I enjoy not only videoing the bustling resort of Benidorm, but also the beautiful local area, including the nearby villages and towns, which can mostly all be reached by local buses at very reasonable prices. So please check out my other content and drop me a line in the comments section if there is something that you would particularly like me to include. And don't forget to like this video by giving it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you out and about next time. Cheers!